Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is the fourth dungeon in the game known as the Arbiter's Grounds. We have more of those worm critters which I believe are known as Moldorms. Not that enemy names matter all that much but you know gotta do a couple fun facts here and there of course. We got some quicksand which of course if you walk in you will eventually sink to your doom. But it takes a while. <laughs> That's not really how quicksand works at all in real life, but anyway, what you want to do is go across. It's a lot of claw shotting this early in the dungeon because of the way that you have to navigate certain- Whoa! How dare you come on and attack me. <laughs> and don't fall into the quicksand here, otherwise you're gonna have to restart the room. And you can also claw shot those critters out of the sand, just like you can- <laughs> Make yourself a safe path, if at all possible. There we go. And whoop. Oh! We're getting attacked all over the place. I hope they don't keep infinitely spawning those. I kind of suck. I don't think they spawn infinitely, though. But there's certainly a lot of life in this place. And those platforms sink, so you gotta be careful of that. Yeah. <laughs> I just like how they flop on the land as if they're fish or something like that. Fish out of water. I'm completely missing the skull. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, whoa! I don't think there's any other way to get across here, and the easiest way is to roll. And these guys are a form of staffles, if I'm not mistaken. They're known as stalking. And I think there's more by the switch. Yeah. <laughs> the best way is usually actually to take care of them with a spin attack, if at all possible. You are not going to be able to get that switch normally, just saying. But if you grab it with the claw shot and pull it towards you, you won't have any trouble whatsoever. There we go. That opens the door. And I don't think there's anything else in this room, except that blue rupees are worth five. Uh, <laughs> there's a locked door. Oh wait, there. Then that means there's a key. Maybe I'm forgetting something. This is lantern oil. Free lantern oil, may I add? Woo! Happy days! Wait, maybe I should stock up on lantern oil as long as I'm here. What don't I need? Probably not the iron boots. I mean, you know, out in my inventory there. Uh, okie dokie. And I definitely don't need the re red chew jelly because of the fact that I have that fairy and that'll revive me when I die instantly and that's even more handy than the red chew jelly and I'd rather have extra oil just in case. Um, what should I have here? Just food. Okay. I'll just have that out like so. Break that with your sword. And you can pretty much guess what's inside this chest. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing else in the room, so the key's gotta be somewhere. Now, these critters will pop out at you. <laughs> now, you'll notice that, see, they're crawling around on Link. Well, when enough get on top of him, then or attaching to him, come on, jump up here. Get, get on me, come on, there you go. I knew you could do it. <laughs> these are known as poison mites, even though they don't do any damage whatsoever. But what they do is slow you down quite a bit. The easiest way to get them off you is just a spin attack. It'll kill them all instantly. And that's pretty much it with those. So let's move on! And already a place I will need the lantern. That's probably why they gave me the oil. And uh oh. Uh oh. Spin attack's definitely a little bit more efficient, I think. The range is a little bit wider, except uh, it takes a little while for it to recharge. Whoa! Where'd you come from? I thought I killed all of you. At least behind me. <laughs> Another one must have spawned from the quicksand. <laughs> These little skeletons are actually kind of cute with how tiny they are, but they, I mean, they're, they aren't even that threatening, even though they're an enemy, but they're still an enemy, and well, yeah, I gotta take care of them. Voila! That opens the door, and I need to get somewhere safe. And there we go. Actually, is there anything else in this room that I need to know of? 
I didn't. I don't really even think I needed the lantern in this room. It's very, very clear. <laughs> I guess not. So let's move on. I guess that lantern thing was just a puzzle. And speaking of lanterns, this right here may very well be a reference to Ocarina of Time. Four poles. Four torches. The Poes steal the fire from these torches. And sure enough, well they do a dance first, but sure enough, that big door closes on you. Oh poop. Attack, 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 attack! Turn the wolf link! Well, three of them got away. <sighs> link is always way too slow. And, whoa, Nelly, this is not your regular pole. Pole. <laughs> but actually, you fight them just as you would another regular pole, actually. So that that may very well be a reference to the uh, uh, poles stealing the fire in Ocarina of Time's uh, Forest Temple. Maybe, I'm not sure about that. It, it probably is. I mean, you know, made by the same creators and whatnot. <laughs> Actually, was this game made by the same creators? Well, so someone on the staff was probably um, on the Ocarina of Time team. At least Miyamoto. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, you gotta smell the pole. For some reason, a pole, you know, something that's dead has a scent. Yeah, I don't understand it either. <laughs> anyway, turn back into a human. And there are a couple of treasure chests here. You don't want to walk on those things as if they're more of those sinking platforms over here. Here's a piece of heart! Yeah! <laughs> and this is why you want to la hook shot, or I mean, not hook shot. Uh, claw shot your way across first, because once you walk across those platforms, they sink in, and it's much, much harder to get across with without those platforms. Just saying. And over here, we got another treasure chest, and... Bubbles! A classic Zelda enemy. Oh, no, 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 I don't want this to sink you. No, 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 let me up, let me up, oh! <laughs> and I would like to open the chest without, you know, rolling into it and hitting my face. Ah, the map! Nice and early, just the way I like it. Otherwise, you know, I'll get lost. <laughs> Alright, let's get back across. Oh, these don't sink completely, do they? Or do they come back up when I let them sink all the way under the sand? Just want to see for the fun of it. Hmm, maybe they're just... Oh, they do float back up. I guess those are more buoyant than the other ones. <laughs> Okay, so as you see on the map, we have two ways, right and left. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that familiar with this dungeon. I don't have it as memorized as I do the other ones, per se, so I'll probably get lost quite a bit. <laughs> but that'll be fun for you now, wouldn't it? <clears throat> or, or won't it? Ah, bad English. I can just grab it manually. Can't. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, clear the room. Wait, actually, what's the benefit of clearing this part of the quicksand? I can't. <laughs> I can't do anything here because I can't climb up those things, or at least I don't think I can. That'll suck me under and reset the room, like instantly. <laughs> That's what happens. Just wanted to show that once. Okay. <laughs> That makes me happy, just to show you that. Here's another bubble. And ink. They, they aren't protected by any fire, so you can just pretty much attack them normally. And a red rupee! Uh, um... Hmm. <laughs> I seem to have come across a dead end. If this block isn't pushable or pullable, if those are words, uh, it's usually, I mean, that usually means that you are coming through via another path, 
like that might be a return path. And that would explain why I, I don't think I can do anything here. Um, I'm just going to take a look around with my claw shot. I don't think I can reach that. No, I didn't think so. Um, see, PK Gam is already lost. <laughs> um, well, there's that, but I don't know why you'd want that. Because, oops, come on. Because there's like nothing there, and yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's probably another return trip sort of dealio. Well, I know there's the left path, so left path it is. <laughs> uh, actually, is there anything else in this room? Is this diggable or is this sinkable? This, this, this square portion here looks suspicious. Ah! Hello! I forgot about this! But I seen the square. I, I just, it, it, it just struck something with me. <laughs> if I would have remembered it earlier, I would have picked it up earlier. I mean, I should. I mean, I would have grabbed that earlier. Okay, so there's that. Is there any on the other side of the room there, or was it that just it? Looks like that's it. Although there is. <laughs> Let me out! Oh, hey, help! Help! <laughs> but there is those pots on the other side. I wonder if I should try the right route first before I go underground. Because that's a totally different floor on the map, I'm sure. And I try to keep things as organized as possible. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to go through this door first. And see what's up! There's a bunch of pole streams. Some rats. <laughs> I love how, just, how Wolf Link there just shook around the rat to kill it. Another one? Like that. <laughs> it's just what a dog would do, too. Um, hmm. Okay, that's locked. And this this room here is actually something rather interesting. But I, I don't want to spoil what it is just yet, because I don't believe this is the room that I can do it in. It, it, it's a room that doesn't make very much sense, if you ask me. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything there. I'm gonna go to the underground path now. Whoop! And... Wait, it... oh, this is gonna be the room that I can mess around with it. Okay. So, here we are. We got another bubble. I don't even know why they're called bubbles. <laughs> they're, they're, they don't nothing like bu bubbles. They're just a skull. <laughs> uh, skulls you can break apart, if you would like, I suppose. Could probably get a decent amount of pocket change for them. I just want to see if there's anything in this stuff that's of interest. Probably not. And I hear the enemy... the enemy music. Oh, there's the pole. The pole scent. That doesn't really make sense. That has a scent. But anyway, this is the thing that doesn't make any sense here. Watch us. See that? What I did, just did there was I rotated the room. How do you rotate a room when you're standing in the very room that you're attempting to rotate? It makes no sense whatsoever. This flooring didn't move around you. You just... Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> I believe this is the incarnation of Staffles. Wait, actually, no. They're... This is a mummy. So... That might be a redead... Night, because the redeads are the mummy type of things, and yeah, just give me a key. You better give me a key. Yay, it's a key. <laughs> I was gonna say if there wasn't a key in that chest, I would be completely baffled. Okay, now you, I believe this. Yeah, that's open. But do I want to leave this room rotated or not? Nah? Oh yeah, I do want to leave this room rotated because. There was that other block path off to the right, and yeah. So, shoot up through the floor. This was where that indent in the floor was before, but since I rotated the room, which made no sense, now I have access to this one over here. But if I were to rotate the room and come back through again, I would be able to go through that locked door. And speaking of, do I want to go through that lock? Hmm. I do. I definitely want to go through it later, but do I want to do it now? I don't know. 
Well, this is, leads to a dead end, so this has probably got something here for me. Ooh. Ooh. Probably the pole, actually. Well, first, the bubble. Because I, I hear the pole, you know, their lanterns are shaking. Oh, another bubble. They're probably hidden among the skulls here. Okay, which one is... Oh, that's it. It's slightly different than the others. Oop. Bring it on! Oh, pff, just completely bounced off of somehow. <laughs> How does that even work? Come on. Get out in the open so I may attack you. These poles are a lot spookier, I have to say, but they, just, they still go down just as easy as any other pole. It's not easier. Come on. I pressed the finish, it, it wasn't moving, and... I... Okay, maybe they're not quite as easy, because for some reason they have some sort of bounce to them. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Come on, let me finish you this time. And finish! There we go! By the way, in case you didn't realize by my little pop-up boxes, these poles actually do get added to your pole count. And every time you defeat one, its fire goes back to one of those torches back at the lobby of sorts. So all those other paths are going to lead you in a complete full circle to get around there. Now, if you were to look at your map... Oh, actually, not your map, excuse me. It's... Ah! See? Six poles. And just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. This is probably the only thing in here, given that it's a dead-end room with all these... Other pole lanterns that disguised it, but I could tell the difference between just how it was hanging. It tried to trick me, but it failed. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else in there. Alright, let's move the room back over. Uh, actually, just want to make sure... Yeah, I can't do anything here. Down. Like, if I were to rotate it... Oh, I can only rotate it in two directions, I see. Okay. I thought I might be able to do it in four, which wouldn't make any sense given the layout of this dungeon. Alright, so back out here. And... Ooh. Looks like they have to show the cutscene for the fire going back to the lantern. Why not? <laughs> and up the stairs we go. And through this door once again. Because I rotated the room back over, I was able to exit that way and then come... See, this was the hole that I was talking about when you fell through the floor. Or actually, claw shot your way up to the second floor, excuse me, and then fell back down when you finished your route. But Before I go through this door, I think I'm gonna end off this part. I'm at 18 or so minutes into the recording. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.